if you never met Yvonne, do you think LMG would still exist or have been successful? No. No, it wouldn't have existed. It was uh, based on Yvonne's... I owe her everything. And I mean that in not like a, like a cheesy way, in like a literal way. Um, I, was, I was very depressed um, around the time that I met her. I was doing a job that was destroying me. It was, it was sucking the soul out of me. Um, I was in school, which was not compatible with me. At least young me, I maybe I would have done better if I had gone back later. Doubt it. Uh, Thanks for that. No problem. Yvonne rescued me from both of them. She was the push I needed to go against what my family wanted and drop out of school and start my job at the computer store. So that was, first of all, I exist today. Thanks, Yvonne. Number two, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying I would have killed myself, but it was a thought. And... Maybe something else would have pushed me over the edge. I don't know. And, and to be clear, because I think some people might not get this, I think you got it. My comment about you not doing better at school wasn't because I think you're dumb. You're not made for that. I really don't think I'm made for it. Yeah. Like it's just. It, it, I love to learn. Yes. But not I, in that environment. On though. my terms. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you're not made for that. It would not have gone well. It's just. Yeah. So she got me out of school. She got me out of a job I hated into an industry that I loved. Then, when it was time to make the decision to leave NCIX and set out on my own, I use the word on my own extremely loosely here because it was, it was on my own, but with like serious backup. You know what I mean? You know those, um, um, uh, you know what, it doesn't, it, it doesn't come to mind in a way that's eloquent. But the point is that the only reason I was able to start Linus Media Group was that Yvonne, with her job at the pharmacy, was taking her pharmacy paychecks and writing them out to Luke and Ed and our operating costs. That was it. We were literally just paying Luke and Ed out of Yvonne's pharmac pharmacist salary. I also had the confidence to set out on my own because I knew that no matter what happened, we wouldn't be unable to pay the mortgage, right? We wouldn't lose our home which was really important because we had a small child, right? We had our, our infant son. So... Loud boy. Yeah, so Yvonne, in the early days in particular, was working to generate the capital we needed to run the business day to day, raising our child because I was raising our other child, Linus Media Group Incorporated, and doing all of our finances and accounting and like negotiations with um, all, oh, all of our business administration stuff, like getting business licenses and insurance and all that kind of stuff. So she was literally working three jobs uh, while she was, <laughs> well, while she was also taking care of, you know, the man child that she married for some reason. That was a very motivating house. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I when I stayed up for like three days or whatever and had just like peanut butter and crackers and tested the <laughs> 700 series graphics cards. Yeah. And it felt like not necessarily more than what was happening in the rest of the house. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> so if I had somehow managed to start LMG, like if I had lucked my way into working at NCIX, starting the YouTube channel and and setting out on my actual own, would it have been as successful? The answer is no. Yvonne has pushed me at every stage to be more organized, to take a more structured approach, to build the business properly and do it responsibly. Thanks for watching and thanks to Secret Lab for sponsoring this week's clips. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you comfy and with up to five years of warranty and a 49 day return policy, you're covered if anything goes wrong. Head to the link in the description to get your Secret Lab chair today.